You know, I just now backstage, I was, uh, it was just, before I came out, I was just kind of leaning against a wall and I was thinking about life. <laughs> I'm a very deep person and I was thinking, <laughs> There are so many challenges in life, so many different kinds. There's emotional challenges, there's financial challenges, there's the trying to match the black shirt with the black pant. There's, because there's so many different kinds of black. You think, well, that's black, and you go with the black, and then the black looks blue next to the other black, and anyway. Then I was thinking about something that happened last night. Here's another challenge that I just discovered. Trying to get off the phone with someone who is oblivious to the fact that you're trying to get off the phone with them. <laughs> You know those people. So the phone rings, and you look at the caller ID, and the only reason you answer is because you think they can see you looking at the phone <laughs> through the phone somehow, and you panic, or that it's blocked, and you just take a chance going, hello. And, and then, uh, then you get talked at for about an hour. And the only thing that you're saying for about an hour is, uh-huh. Uh <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. And based on your tone, you would think that they could tell that you don't want to talk, but it turns out they can't. <laughs> These are usually the same friends that can't tell when he's just not that into you. <laughs> just don't notice things. So there are a lot of ways you try to get off the phone. I think we all try the same thing. You know, you start with the friendly, well, all right, I'll let you go. <laughs> but they don't want to be let go. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I just opened up a barrel of wine. Anyway. <laughs> So then you start making noises. You try the old, like, uh, oh, shoot, I just, I gotta go. I just spilled Dr. Pepper all over my counter. And they're like, guess what? The same thing happened to me. <laughs> now they're gonna tell you about when it happened to them. And then finally you just tell them, you know, I have to go, because 911's on the other line. <laughs> so just when you're about to hang up, you're so close, you can taste it. And you just think, oh, I'm just about to go. And then, like, their son walks in the room. And then it's, oh, wait, Johnny wants to say hi. <laughs> Now you're on the phone with a two-year-old who just likes to press the buttons and just <laughs> bling, 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 and like you're just like, you start sounding like a crazy person. Put mommy on the phone, Johnny. Can you put mom on the phone? Can I talk to your mommy, Johnny? Mommy, Johnny, mommy, 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 mommy. <laughs> and then right then Johnny hangs up. So you're like, oh, thank goodness. And then the phone rings two seconds later. I am so sorry he did that. I tried to grab the phone from him, but little Johnny just... Anyway, let me tell you about my haircut. And then you just... Uh... And at that point, all you do really is you put the phone down and you just start yelling really loudly, uh-huh, really, uh-huh, and then you just start dancing.